How much practice goes into being prepared to improvise in real time? In this video, we'll talk about the four stages of daily practice, what you should be working on, and how much to be ready for the bandstand. Hi, my name is Jason Klobnik, and I'm a jazz trumpeter from Denver, Colorado that helps musicians find a better way to improvise. If you're looking for a quick jazz improv tip that will help your soloing, then you've come to the right place. Occasionally, I'll get questions from viewers like you on what you should be practicing. What should I be working on, and why is that important? There are a ton of opinions on what you should be doing. I'll give you mine and talk briefly about why I do them and how I think it's helpful. If it works for you or your students, then feel free to use it. I have found that breaking the day up into three or four stages makes things manageable and you don't feel like you're spending your entire day in the practice room. The first stage is a warm-up. As a brass player, you need to move the lactic acid around inside of the important parts of the muscle tissue found inside of the embouchure. This helps make the whole mechanism ready for what you're going to work on and help avoid injury as well. Everyone's warm-ups and warm-up needs are different based on a lot of factors. Generally, I like to keep mine shorter. On most days, five to 15 minutes. It all depends on my playing demands for that day. The second stage I do immediately after my warm-up, but I mentally separate them because of their purpose. The second part I call my maintenance routine, or my family knows as FaceTime. It's the regular maintenance needed to perform on your specific instrument. You might have seen my A and B day practice routine on YouTube. This is the exact routine I'll do with A days being major and B days being minor. I'll vary it and open it up every now and then so it doesn't become stale. This routine is important because it helps make some of the tools used in improvising second nature and a part of my muscle memory. Is this really practice though? It would be if it's new to you. After it becomes muscle memory though, it becomes routine. Practice requires active mental focus, which means you're paying close attention to every movement. And this brings us to the third stage, working out the tools you would use to actually improvise. Focus on the details and understanding what it is you're playing as well as how it could be used. Many improvisers get stuck working on the things you're already good at. Great musicians practice on the things that aren't as familiar yet. This usually involves tools they can use really well in the keys of B flat and F, but struggle with in keys like B or F sharp. You should also actively seek out new tools to keep your playing fresh and avoid the monotony of playing the same thing over and over. In a daily practice session, this is the one that takes the longest and takes the most focus. I'm going to take an example from my 12 weeks to fluency course. The concept involves taking one tool a day and working them out in one key each week. Change keys each week. In 12 weeks, you will have played everything in every key. Continue the process after those 12 weeks and everything you play becomes comfortable or fluent in each key. This week, I'm in the key of D. Find a play along or use Drum Genius to find a tempo that's comfortable and work it out focusing on that tool, how it feels on the face, the finger movement, and focusing on the last note as a target. The fourth and final stage is putting things into context. What songs or chord progressions are you working on right now? Take some of the tools you worked out earlier in your session and put them into context. 
pick your targets, map your route, and try some ideas out. Hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has added value or benefit to your playing in some way. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell that's right next to it that lets you know when another video comes out. And if you know any other musician that might find this useful, you can share it with them too. Until then, my name is Jason Klobnik and I'll see you on the next one.